Thousands of beagles were rescued for, from a lab testing facility in Virginia. It was one of the largest rescues nationwide, and the very first dog rescued made its way to the Gem State earlier this year. His name is Samson, and when I saw him, he seemed like the happiest and healthiest dog, but that wasn't the case for the last eight years of his life. PETA and the USDA says through their investigations, they found he was used for experiments and experienced animal abuse. A PETA representative says Samson's owner says seeing him experience regular things like touching grass for the first time has been rewarding. Good boy. Dogs are very, they need a lot of attention and they also need a lot of money to uh, be uh, fed, bathed, uh, not only that, like the vets, the, his food. These basic necessities are something new to Samson. Samson was the first of 4,000 beagles rescued from Envigo, a beagle breeding factory and laboratory in Virginia. We adopted him because uh, my family loves dogs and we saw a video on him being rescued from this uh, shelter which we were experimenting on and abusing him. After seven months of investigation, PETA discovered animal cruelty at the facility in Cumberland, Virginia. Uncovered cruel conditions, deprivation of veterinary care, intentional deprivation of food for nursing mother dogs who were famished, a sky high mortality rate for puppies, animals being hosed in the cages from high pressure hoses with cold water and a lot more. This sparked state and national leaders to step in. In July, the facility reached an agreement with the Department of Justice and U.S. Department of Agriculture to surrender the dogs to the Humane Society of the United States. The company actually announced that it would be closing. So the best case scenario has taken place. 4,000 beagles are in the process of being released in groups to um, different humane societies across the United States. Samson made his long journey to freedom, passing eight states to finally meet their new owners in Idaho. He was the first beagle to fly the coop and learn what freedom is. And today, I know he spent a very uh, snowy winter in Idaho and he really enjoys the snow. And for many of them, including Samson, this is the very first time they've touched grass and experienced a normal life. Come on. When we first adopted him, he was uh, very timid and scared. He wouldn't, um, he wouldn't come out of a corner. But it didn't take long for Samson to adjust to his new life. And now he is, he's very outgoing and he's very hyperactive. He lets everyone pet him. He, I'm very proud of him. Julian Sampson's owner says that he's happy to know that many other beagles are in the process of finding their forever home. Adopt a pet. Not only will you save their life, possibly, you'll earn a new best friend. And the beagles have been released to many shelters throughout the U.S. The latest beagle adoption was made by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And Daphna says that some more beagles could possibly make their way to the Gem State. You can follow their journey on their website at thehumanesociety.org.